I would really love the Let's try again. Okay. <laughs> Hey y'all, this is Amber. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am going to jump right in because I do not want this to be a very, very long video and I know that I get used to saying that, but I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible. So today I am going to be talking about all of the books that I have read for the winter months. Um, and so I have a grand total of 15 that I have read that I wanna kind of give like quick book reviews and share and if I have any recommendations. Um, and then we will go from there. So before I get started, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I post and upload. Um, and with that being said, let's get started. Anyway, two of the books that I have read, one is Discover Paris, which is revamped to my understanding every single year. It is through Lonely Planet, which is um, a Mabel, a Mabel a major travel blog website agency i even believe uh, but anyway they post travel guides to many different areas and places and destinations so i will link their blog as well as this book um anyway so that gave me some information about some of the things that happens around paris what events they tend to have uh, some of the places that they recommend to stay and go because I am staying on property, the lodging is not really a concern or a focus of mine, but I did want to want to find out how to best maximize my time so that I can see the Louvre, so I can see the Arc de Triomphe, um, and so that I can, of course, go to see the Eiffel Tower. And I also want to do a little luxury shopping while I am there. Um, so I am going to want to hit Chanel, you know, Fendi, Prada, all of those things that are in Paris. So. I'm going to want to do some damage. Um, additionally, another book that I have read is Disneyland Paris 2018. Now, that author did not have a 2019 copy, um, but I still think that the 2018 edition was still valuable. It let me know some of the things to look out for, some of the things to um, be aware of, what wait times are like, what the different times of year are like. And it gave me some very, very helpful tips. Um, I have, of course, been to Disney World as well as Disneyland. So this is going to be my third park um, as well as my third Disney park visit. Um, so I definitely wanted to have the scoop on like how I should plan logistically what we're going to be doing. I am going to be going with my cousin and looks like mommy, uh, my mommy is going to be going now. So I'm really, really excited about that. She's my favorite person in the whole wide world. So I'm going with two of my favorite people in the world. Um, so I'm very excited about that. But anyway, um, so those two Paris guides have been helpful to me and they kind of give me a sense of direction of what I want to, uh, where I want to visit, what I want to do and how I can maximize being at Disneyland and then taking a quick train over into the heart of Paris. Another book that I read for my class is To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I remember reading that book in high school or was it middle school? I think it was high school. I can't remember. But I remember reading it and I remember loving it and I definitely still loved it as an adult and as a teacher. Um, I was able to kind of connect my experiences with reading the book to my students. Unfortunately, I was not able to find my original copy because I thought that that would have been so cool to let them see how their teacher annotated that book when I was around their age. Um, unfortunately, I could not find it. Um, but either way, I was still able to relate to their experience of being able to read the book for the first time and try to grasp all that is to kill a mockingbird. Moving on. Uh, the next book that I have is A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. Linda Sue Park. Um, and that book is essentially about two different people and it tells two different stories. And in the end, their stories collide. Um, and it's about essentially they are connected by this journey of water and this journey to water and it tells their different experiences and how their paths cross i love that book i recommend that book to um any young adults as well as any adults it's a really great read it's a very short read i read that book in maybe about an hour or two um very 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 good book i'd highly 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 recommend it moving on 
Next book that I have is It's Your Universe by Ashley Eckstein. Sorry, hope I'm not butchering your name. Uh, but anyway, she is a Disney um, actress. She played on That's a Raven as Muffy, and I remembered her laughter. Huh? <laughs> yeah, mine is not nearly as polished as hers, but you get the point. Um, anyway, so she ended up writing a book called It's Your Universe, and she told her experience with like um, Star Wars and how there was no merchandise for girls that, you know, loved the science fiction and loved the Star Wars brand. And she was able to talk about how she made her dreams come true. And along the way, she shared stories of different Disney princesses or characters that she may have related to and the quotes that inspired her. It is a phenomenal read. I really enjoyed it. I ended up putting it in my classroom because at first I was just going to hoard it for myself. Uh, but I definitely think that that is going to be something that can be a great inspiration and a great push for students, um, especially considering that my classroom thing is kind of fun to do the impossible. So <laughs> it's fun to read about her story of doing the impossible and how she was able to make her dreams come true and how others can do the exact same thing. Another book that I read is All American Boys. Oh, did that book take me by surprise and oh, did I love that book. First off, I have actually, um, not that my voice really amounts to a whole lot, I don't think, I don't know yet because I am still a first year teacher, but I actually recommended this book to uh, my eighth grade team across the district. All American Boys is a story about some of the things that we've seen in the news with an African-American boy being brutalized by the police, um, it goes viral. The only difference is we have a white student that actually witnessed this scene and he had a connection to the police officer. And so their stories unfold. And again, it's kind of like one of the stories somewhat kind of collides in the end, not very much. Uh, but anyway, I really, really loved it. I really, really recommend it. I went in my classroom shoving the book at any student that would take it and read it. Um, it is a wonderful read. Five out of five, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100. I loved it. I definitely recommend it. The next two books that I read were more so for professional development for me, and that is The Wild Card. Uh, by Hope and Wade King, as well as The Book Whisperer by Donna Lynn Miller. If you are a teacher, I definitely recommend um, at the least the wild card because it applies to all subjects. But if you are an English teacher and or even social studies, because I feel like they kind of go hand in hand with a lot of the reading, then I would also recommend The Book Whisperer, but more so for the English teachers. Um, the next book that I read, Keeping It Moving, is Love and Gelato. And that is a young adult novel. And I pride myself on loving young adult novels. I have no shame about it. I love them more than I love most adult books. And that's just the reality. Um, so Love and Gelato is about a girl whose mother ends up dying. And she goes overseas to live with this man. And she learns the truth about her mother and the man that she's staying with. And she also finds love in Italy. Ciao, Bella. Uh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> and um, so anyway, she ends up um, having her own experience there. And so she's going to make the decision of if she wants to stay or if she wants to go. And um, her story and, you know, how it unfolds is just so spectacular to me and so phenomenal. And I really, really loved it. Um, I ended up going back to school and recommending it to one of my students. And she loved it as well. So we're going to keep the trend going and keep recommending the book to others. And I also recommend that as well. Uh, the next book that we read is, well, that I read is a book that I just currently finished reading. Well, I finished reading it about two months ago. But my students finished reading it this past week. And that is Night by Ellie Wiesel. And um, not to be confused with Eli Wiesel which I had to, you know, correct and chastise my students about. But anyway, it is a story. It is a Holocaust novel, and it, you know, shares the story of Wiesel and his experience with the Holocaust being a 15-year-old and, you know, his traumatic experience and how, you know, he has this call to action for us to remember the Holocaust and to prevent something like this from ever happening again to any other group of people. And this was a powerful read. It was a very, very short book. I believe it was 
maybe 120 pages total but boy was it powerful oh my god it was filled with so much i mean right off the start uh, my students have mostly said that this has been their favorite book. This is between this and Lord of the Flies have been their two favorite, more so because they have a whole lot of action to it. This book, they said more so because it's not long and drawn out. I mean, it gets straight to the point and it shows you and it tells you. And you get to feel the emotions and the experience of Vizo. And, and one of the things that I pride myself on doing, which is also something that I learned from the Wild Card is... I do these room transformations with my books. So I actually put up the um, the barbed wire fences and I, you know, let the students come into darkness and feel the somber mood. And I gave them identities of people who were involved in the Holocaust and they got to figure out whether their person survived or whether they uh, perished or were a victim. Well, all were victims, but whether they were able to live or die as a result of the Holocaust. Um, so a lot of these things I did so that I can allow the students to really feel that emotional attachment to it. And um, this was definitely a powerful book. I will say that this has been the favorite lesson uh, unit that I've taught so far in my year and a half of teaching. Uh, <laughs> so I definitely enjoyed it and I would definitely look forward to teaching this book again in the future. Moving on, I only have a couple more books. Another book that I have is The Holocaust. It is a big book. And it's the origins, events, and remarkable tales of survival. So it pretty much walks the readers through um, how the Nazi party came to power, how the Holocaust began, um, some of the, the brutalities that the Jews, the Poles, the Gypsies, the Slavs, all of these people had to face as a result of the Nazi regime and the Holocaust. And how World War II, you know, how America ended up coming into the war and then how the tide changed when uh, the Nazi regime was being conquered, essentially, and taken over. And, um, it was definitely a very powerful book. Um, and I definitely recommend teachers to buy that to pair along with any Holocaust book that they may be having. I also recommend The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, of course, The Diary of Anne Frank. Um and there are quite a few other Holocaust books that are very good. There's um, a couple of scholastic books. I know it's like uh, one is like Making Bombs for Hitler that tells like a real firsthand experience. Um, and so I definitely, definitely hands down recommend um, getting that along with the night book. And I will make sure to make note of that down in the comments below just so you won't have to remember that for yourself. Um, last two books, guys, and then we're through. Um, the next is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Oh my god. So she is the author of The Hate You Give, which I completely adored. I showed my students the Hate You Give movie. Um and we were I've recommended the book to a few people. Now I mind you, um the movie is PG thirteen, so I would recommend that your students are over that age or your children are over that age if you allow them to watch the movie. Um additionally um, I would say the same with the book. I definitely would not put the book in the hands of anyone that is under the age of 13. And even still, um, I would recommend giving it to a more mature 13, you know, 14, 15 year old. Um, it's a very, very powerful book, uh, book, a very good book. But anyway, On the Come Up is about a rapper, Bree. And she is basically trying to make a better life for herself and for her family. She feels like she has to shoulder the responsibility of taking care of everybody. And she's going to do that through rap. So we get to read about her experience and how it was like, how life was like for her uh, to kind of like live in these double worlds. You know, her school world, her personal life world, her rap career world and the world of her father, which was a rapper before her. So. I definitely love that book. Again, recommend 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100. And the last book that I'm going to share and talk about is The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. I was on the fence about this book. I am not going to lie. It was a Amazon recommended book. And I am typically known for being an impulsive buyer. So that was more of an impulsive buy. But it did not disappoint. I loved it. Um, it is about a woman and a man um they end up meeting each other in the elevator and the woman agrees to be the date um a date and so we get to see their love story unfold from there and it all stems from being a wedding date which i think is so adorable um 
it's kind of cute it's actually very cute <laughs> it was a cute book uh, so I enjoyed that as well. So those are all of the books that I have read so far. I have read a total of 15 books this year. Once again, go ahead and hit the like button so that I can continue sharing content and so that we can continue to grow as a channel. Also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be aware every time that I make a post. Additionally, if you have any book recommendations for me, I always love them. So please leave them in the comments below and I will see you next time. Thank you guys.